Okay, I continued from my last video. Uh, I drew my geometry and my square bowl, and now I'm tool pathing it. All of them are going counterclockwise. I go through this, it's a contour tool. I'm going to use a quarter inch flat end mill or quarter inch straight bit. I'm going to set my feed rate at 60 inches per minute and 30. Blue check to hold those settings. Holder, cut parameters. I'm going counterclockwise this way, so my bit's on the inside. I got to remember that. Depth of cuts, I have to set that. I want to go to 0.2 so I don't break the bit. Lead in, lead out. I'm going to turn that off. And finally, my depth right here is going to be a negative number. I'm going to go negative 0.8. And remember, my board is 0.81, so that's going to leave 10 thou of wood left, so something to separate. I'm all done. There it is. I can verify it. There's verify. I usually like to go in the isometric view, fit screen, slow it down a little bit. Cutting from the inside out. That's what I want. My first one's from the inside out. You can see I'm losing a quarter inch of wood to the thickness of the bit. And then my board's actually a half inch wide. I'm all done. I look at that, I can see I don't cut all the way through. Those are all my pieces. Okay, so I'm all done. Now I go to post. Go back to top view. Post takes all this information, converts it into G code. I want to save it on the flash drive uh, under my name. I'm going to call it square bowl 8x8 and I'm going to call it in the backspace and call it dash 1. This is my first one in counterclockwise. So I've taken all this information, posted it, turned it into this code that you see on your screen and then I could go run it on the CNC router. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go file, save as, I'm going to save this under my name Right, you could save it under your name. I'm going to go to my projects folder. And what I'm actually going to do is create a new folder here called Square Bowl 1. Okay, and I'm going to put it in Square Bowl 1. And I'm going to title it the same as my CNC file. Square bowl 8x8 dash 1. So now I've saved this whole file. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back to parameters. And under parameters, I'm going to go to the tool setting. Now we're to cut parameters. And I'm going to change this to right. That's going to move the cutter on the other side of the arrow. So if I'm going counterclockwise, now the bit's going to be on the right side of the line, and it's going to change the whole size by a half inch. Very complicated. So I'm going to set that. It changes it. I have a dirty operation. What I need to do here is regenerate to clean it up. Now this is a separate file, so I'm going to go File, Save As. Again, this is now going to be Square Bowl 2. So it's saved in the same folder. I have two separate files. The second file I'm going to post, and I'm going to post it to Schwartz. I already forgot where I put it. Oh no, I'm going to go to Kingston file, uh, Schwartz. And save, save it here, and I'm going to title this one under Square Bowl 8x8 2. Okay, from here we're going to go out to the router and run the project.